Hello, welcome back to another little episode of Two Spanners. Um, different car today, not the Mini or the Corsa. Uh, if any of you follow us on uh, on YouTube or Instagram, sorry, and the other social medias, um, you'll probably see that I've just bought myself a little Safira GSI. Um, I've owned a few of these before, kind of missed having one, needed a bigger car, looked at a few other cars, ended up buying a Safira GSI. Um, Bit something unfortunate happened. Uh, this is a completely original, unmolested car, as far as I can tell. Um, it's got no aftermarket bits on it whatsoever. Everything's genuine. Still got the Amisha back box and everything on it. Um, Interior is in really good shape, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, Paintwork. It's no, not rusty, but it is a bit battered. It's clearly lived down a stone track at some point. Um, you know, bonnet's all stone chipped and everything. But other than that, all original, spot on. And literally, as I went up to go look at this thing. Um, somebody backed into the corner of it. So, um, chap I bought it off seemed, seemed sound enough, seemed genuine. He was a trader, he took it in part X. Um, so yeah, he wasn't definitely expecting it to be perfect. Um, but unfortunately, it's got a little bit of a, an extra issue with it. He did knock some money off, which I was happy with the amount. I think we came to a reasonable agreement. Um, but we'll have a quick look around it now and you can see what's what. <coughs> so, this is it away from it a little bit so it's in the yard and blue I've had a couple of silver ones before but this is probably the best colour isn't it let's face it guys you can see it looks nice and tidy original wheels no rust anywhere it's nice and clean underneath and then uh, yes it was a very nice tidy clean front bumper and now this corner's boshed in on the bumper we are going to try and repair it but i'm not holding my breath um it doesn't seem to have pushed in the, the quarters or anything um there's a little bit of a mark but we'll clean that up but a couple of new headlights new bumper or bumper repair gonna blow the front in make it look all nice and tidy you can see here it's actually stone chipped to death hopefully the camera picks it up um yeah it's it, you know clearly has seen its mileage the car has done 150,000 miles um, which is a fair bit for one of these Z20s, but it seems to have been well looked after. It comes with good service history. It's had a couple of cam belts, etc. Um, sounds lovely. It's actually the smoothest, quietest one that I've owned so far. Um, so yeah, I am kind of missing, um, you know, having this sort of big car. I've already done maybe 350 miles in it since I've owned it, um, which has only been two or three days. Um, and it's been absolutely spot on. It's running lovely, nice and smooth. In fact, you can barely feel the thing running when you're sitting in it. So it's actually smoother than my Mini, especially now the Mini's got all the uh, solid engine mounts and that on it. Um, wheels aren't in bad nick. Obviously a little bit of curbing, a little bit of corrosion. You know what these snowflake alloys are like, especially at this kind of age. Um, but generally in pretty good shape. Um, so we're going to set about sort of tidying this up. Um, you'll you'll you know be able to catch all the updates on it. This will become another sort of mini project a bit like when uh, Chris got his wife the the red course racing VXR I'm gonna get a bit of paint on it get it looking nice uh, hopefully that'll be entertaining for you guys um, quickly whip round into the interior so it's got original mats I have actually got an original Ermsha set um, to go in I'm just gonna give them a clean up because they are original so they're not mint um, interior is actually in really really good shape for the mileage again 150,000 miles on this car it's got that tiny little scuff there on the on the bolster but other than that the interior is actually immaculate I've actually got seats down in the back right now so you can't see all of it but you catch my drift and the second thing is the headliner was shot absolutely shot so it's got nothing in it at the minute but uh, unfortunately I didn't take the camera with me time just did not permit um, but I have actually picked up another headliner, a roof lining, whatever you want to call it, um, which will be going in it today. That's what I'm going to film today. Um, and what we'll do, um, I'll pop in now, because I've actually got it in the house. I gave a few bits of clean up, got all new grab handles and all that kind of stuff. They're all cleaned up and looking mint. Um, but I'm actually going to use some upholstery spray just to black the, the roof lining off. So we'll, uh, we'll do that together on camera and see what it comes out like. I've done a couple before with varied results. Um, but yeah, it should just make it look a little bit fresher. Um, and that'll be sort of where the, the project begins. You might be able to just spy down there an Ermsha um, grill as well. Um, I did have a quick look around for the OPC ones, but they're quite hard to come by these days. I had them on my last couple of Zaffis, but 
um, I'm not prepared to pay the sort of 300 euros I've seen them for posted from Germany so um, yeah are we going to go with the OPC one so hopefully a bit more content for you guys to enjoy um, again we're still waiting on a few bits of the course uh, you know if you've been following the course you know it's quite a reasonably extreme build so there's some very very much custom bits going on it and have gone on it already um, so we are just having to wait for some of the people supplying these bits and that to uh, to do the job that we're happy with which is all good and um, it's got to be right that's for sure um, you know plenty more content for the course and plenty more content for the mini and and now you're going to see the bus a few times as well and um, so really hope you're enjoying the content please like and sub it really helps the channel out uh, probably stick you on a bit of time lapse now and um, of me just going over a few bits and um, and then we'll get in the house and, and have a look at this headliner right so hold you to the kitchen floor i'm right in the middle of changing it so i've just been taking up the uh tiles um, and I've got this other set underneath that I need to pull up so apologies if it does look like crap um, so yesterday I went up to a breakers to get a new roof lining for the uh, Saphira I've got that out the back we'll go look at it in a sec and um, this is currently my my kitchen full of Saphira GSI parts there's lots of trims there pillar trims and that because they are a little bit dirty in the uh, one that I've got already um, and the ones that uh, that, the vehicle I went and got the, the roof lining out of was in, in good shape and uh, the interior was a bit cleaner. Um, whilst I was up there, I spied that he had these uh, proper Ermisher uh, mats for the for the Zaffy, um, which, you know, if you're in the scene, you'll know they're not easy to come by, to be fair. So you offer me a great price on this Ermisher grill and the uh, roof lining as well. So fantastic dude. Um, He's down in Swindon, I think, if I remember rightly, he comes under, I think his name's Stu, S-T-U-G-B, um, on Facebook, and he's uh, he's got a VXR breakers down there, and um, primarily Astra and, and, and Corsa VXRs, just because they're, they're obviously more readily available, but it appears that he does try to get hold of uh, a reasonable GSI, Zafi and Astra, if they are available for the right money, of course. So, if you're looking for bits, especially on these older cars that are getting harder and harder to come by definitely worth giving him a shout he's an absolutely sound guy um or sound bunch of guys actually so there's a few of them up there um and he's got all sorts of bits bits up there for sale um from from good stock bits to to you know performance bits that are in really good shape and um, just for example whilst i was up there he had uh, uh corsa vxr i think it was an mtc cooler by the look of it but he had all custom hard piping made for it and everything all with it um, it's all in very good shape so um, that would save you a hell of a lot of money on something brand new like an air tech or something so bear that in mind this video is not sponsored by him but i just had a good experience so i want to share it um but yeah when i get around to cleaning these up i'll probably do a little video on that just to show you what the crack is and um, in the meantime we'll go have a look at this uh at this roof liner all right here she is um again picked up from that breaker it's in really good shape um, I did do a little bit of cleaning up. You can see that these are sort of light patches where I cleaned it up. And to be honest, a lot of it didn't clean up too bad. But where, obviously, it's quite old, it's hard to get it all to look like a nice flat cream colour. Um, cream, grey, cream, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so I don't want it to sort of have all these little clean patches. And I don't think, regardless of what I do, um, I'm going to be able to get it looking perfect. Uh, you know, I could try wet vacuuming it and that as well, to be honest. So we might have a little bit of a go at that. Um, but the chances are the next bit you'll see me doing is uh, is, is uh, spraying it with some some uh, fib fabric uh, spray paint, to try and black it off. Um, just makes it stay cleaner, easier. Um, you know, this is primarily going to be a family car, so uh, the chances are it's going to get a bit grubby. It's going to be, you know, a dog in the car and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, as you can see the uh, actual condition of it's pretty good um, yeah, it's a little bit sort of grubby around the edges here which is normal um, but yeah I think the the fastest um, solution is probably going to be to black it um, so I'm just in my little little lean to out the back here at the minute so this is probably where I'm going to spray it um, hold tight over spray on the path I'm sure there's some overspray on this uh, patio that I built already from from shenanigans um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get it looking quite nice and, and get it in the vehicle today. I think if I remember rightly, the fabric paint only took about 20 minutes to dry when I've used it in the past. So I'm kind of hoping it will be the same uh, same situation here. Um, but yeah, 
not easy to come by. If you own a Zaffy GSI or any kind of Zaffy, really, you'll know that the uh, roof liners do like to sag and fall off. And and one thing I do find, which when you own the car, it makes sense to stick it up, and you think, yeah, cool, that, at least that's going to stay on there now. Um, but what you tend to find is uh, you pick up one of the cars that needs that's had the the liner stuck in. You don't know that at the time. Um, and then you go to change the the roof area or you need to just get in there to replace something and then you realize the whole thing's been stuck to the roof with a very strong adhesive of some sort um, and then you just end up destroying the bloody things getting them out so what we're going to try and do with this one uh, is try and velcro it up with some of the stock hook and loop stuff um, glue gun you've probably seen what it's like when you take roof liners out if you've done it before but they glue gun like little velcro patches in certain places on the on the roof lining this one's actually still got most of them from factory and then i'll stick the other part to the roof of the uh to the actual gsi itself and that should be good to go um but again when i come to put it in the car you'll see that you see me pop everything back together i'm not going to necessarily do it as a tutorial but if there's anything you've got any questions about for the fitting or removing because if you don't know where the fittings are and things like that it can be a bit of a pain and they're very easy to damage and um, but i've done a few of these now so we should be okay um i'm gonna crack on i'll probably just time lapse me spraying it quick catch up and then we'll get to, to chucking it in the car before we run out of daylight again appreciate you tuning in please like and sub catch up with you in a bit Right guys, it's actually a couple of days later now because I did run out of paint out to go get some more. Um, final coat's just drying now. Um, but yeah, it's actually come out alright to be fair. Um, camera doesn't really do it justice, um, but it does, it does actually look pretty nice and uniform. Um, but yeah, just a just a way of doing a little bit of recycling and refurbishment, especially when you've, you've got one of the older cars like the Sephira GSI. Can't always get new parts. Um, so yeah, I'll let it dry. Maybe you know I've got enough to do another coat or two if necessary. But I think we're pretty much there. But you get the idea anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get the camera set up once I'm happy that it's it's absolutely spot on. And uh, yeah, just time lapse me popping all the interior back in as well as the headliner. Um, again, I'll just time lapse it. Obviously, you can slow it down a bit if you need to have a look and you know because you're doing this yourself and you want some advice or anything. But obviously. Uh, is a little bit fiddly and whatnot. I've got some some pillar pieces to put in, which means removing seat belts and bits and bobs. So it will be a little bit of work. But uh, as I say, any questions you can obviously give us a message, and I'm, I'll do my best to help you out. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, just got some bits and bobs here, ready to just clean up a few bits inside. Um, I've got some other pillar treatments to put in. Uh, so I'm going to pop the old ones out first. Um, as you can see, I've already bought the. Uh, headlining through um, you didn't need to see me wrestling that through the house because at the minute my mini is kind of jammed up against my back gate at the moment so I can get both, both my cars on the drive but space is a premium and um, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to time lapse either just because of space because right now um, that you know I'm standing on the path essentially in front of my driveway so I don't think I'm going to be able to easily set a camera up I'm doing it on my own today I haven't got a cameraman or anything so um, I'll show you what I can if there's anything important i think i need to show you i'll i'll try and show that in a bit more detail obviously if you are doing this yourself and you've got any questions or anything just feel free to drop us a message or something to see if i can help you out it's fairly simple though so it should be all right all right just get these ones to clean up as you can actually come up pretty good not perfect but uh, again a lot better than they were so i'm just going to keep the other ones a spare for now um and if i get around to it at some point i'll uh, i'll pop the uh seat belts out of it and and yeah see if we can uh get them other ones in because they are pretty mint the other ones i picked up but again this is the family car so um you know i'm i'm not uh silly it's going to get dirty and well used to be fair um but yeah i just want to make it nice to be honest um generally the car's been really well looked after mechanically it's spot on so uh, there's just a few bits and bobs like i said i'd like to crack on with so again hopefully uh Hopefully you guys are enjoying um, all the content, Corsa, Mini, whatever. Um, and obviously this bus is the, the new one on the block. So you'll probably be seeing a bit more of this, um, at least leading up to it being painted and everything. So and hopefully you'll all get a chance to see a nice, uh, sort of shiny, fresh bus. And get it out to some of the shows with the Corsa and that. Um, looking forward to it. Stay tuned and I'll catch up again in a bit. Right, so a couple of minutes later, got the rear panels out. So um, again, quite hard to film whilst I was doing it at the same time. But see these clip 
of holes here and you'll see the same sort of oblong shaped holes oblong no oval that's the word i'm looking for donut um oval shaped holes here this is where the clips go um, and what you have to do is kind of first initially start at the top when the roof line is out you kind of put your hand underneath it and feel for the tight spots and put the pressure directly around the clips if you can and then that will allow you to, to pull it from the roof um, and then it's the same with these kind of clips here as well um, this uh, these clips here they you know they're quite easy to snap um, so you know don't just yank on it like I said you know get your hand in behind it um, and you kind of feel where the, the clips are and put the pressure as close to the clips as possible and they should pop out reasonably easily they do make a bit of a racket so sometimes it sounds like you broke it when you haven't but uh, yeah just go steady and you should be fine right gonna look at uh, popping this roof liner in now so at least it's up there um, from factory a lot of the time you see these little uh, squares of uh, hook and loop or you know commonly known as velcro um, the hook and loop stuff is pretty good it's some fairly uh, sort of coarse stuff not like on your, your trainers it's very very sturdy um, there's three bits on here one's come off in the middle there and you can see the corresponding bits all stuck to the roof up here um, and what I like to do if I'm doing this kind of thing is you get the little tabs pre-cut but you can also buy a strip of it um, and then I'll hot glue, glue gun them to the actual roof liner and then stick the other half on it and it'll stick itself to the roof when you push it all up um, just make sure everything on the roof is nice and clean so that it'll stick to it properly um, yeah and it should be all good right so apologies light's not amazing because it's I didn't start doing this till nearly five o'clock and obviously you know what it's like chasing the light at the minute but I've got to get it done at some point so Again, time is of the essence, unfortunately. Whether there's a good video or not, I will try to get some sort of video, um, but it needs to go in either way. Um, but you'll get a better look at it soon because it's going in for paint. Um, but yeah, cool. Black headlining in, all the lights in and working. Like I say, it's just a case of sort of pottering about, making sure the panel clips go back in where they're supposed to go. Like I say, I've put some uh, extra uh, uh, sort of Velcro or hook and loop tabs in the roof to try to keep it held up nice and tight. Um, but yeah, it looks much nicer, much cleaner and tidier. Um, a little bit of faff, like I say, and apologies, I couldn't get a bit more decent footage of me actually putting it in. But again, if you go to do this job yourself and you've got any questions or anything, just feel free to drop us a message. I'm just going to go about now and put all the little bits and bobs in. Uh, let's see if I can show you it like this. Um, and then the grab handles and stuff as well, which obviously helped I hold the roof up as well um, Hold tight wifey Giving me the uh, The camp the uh, lighting that I needed because um, you know a lot of these bits you do need a couple of hands to do it um, And yeah, it's really hard to hold a torch and plug in the light plugs and stuff like that and hold the roof lining up and all the rest of it So um, yeah, a little bit awkward, but it's a definitely a DIY job if you've got a bit of time and a bit of patience